The funny thing is, when we got sheep, I knew nothing about showing sheep, or that you could even show sheep. It was actually one of my daughters and my husband. One Easter we were camping, and she sat on her dad's lap watching these lambs being born, and she says to her dad, can I have a sheep? From there on it was, we got some sheep, and then we heard that you could take sheep to show, and wouldn't that be fun to take our sheep along to show? It's become a lot of fun. It's almost become addictive, actually. <laughs> our life has started to revolve around sheep. We, we got into farming um, basically because we had some, some land, some spare land. And my daughter asked for some sheep. When we went camping one day, she saw some sheep at the campsite and we bought a small number of Jacob sheep. Um, and as a family, we decided we enjoyed it so much that, that, that we would start farming properly, if there's such a thing. Commercial farming is, is farming for protein, producing protein in the form of lamb to be sold, particularly by the mass supermarkets. We farm pedigree sheep, which are desirable for a number of reasons. It's actually very competitive. The, I say that I say that everybody's friends. We really are, and we even are in the show ring. You know, if 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 somebody's got more sheep than they can manage, then then we take it in turns to help them show and things like that. You know, we really are good friends. First show that we went to, we really didn't know what we were doing. And a young lad, Harry Stamp, yes, who yeah. I think was eight at the time, yes, came over to to us and started clipping our sheep for us. It it it's actually very competitive because the show results affect your sales. Thankfully, I've got another job. The first few years in pedigree sheep farming where there's fewer animals is quite cash intensive. So, so, so I'm lucky to um, be a yacht broker. That's helped help fund the first few years of, of sheep farming. But nowadays, the, 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 um, the, the sheep farming that we're doing is, is washing its face and, and actually looking quite positive. I've been close to the land and close to farming um, all my life. My father was a horticulturalist. Interestingly, it was probably the last thing I would have done because it seemed like hard work. I'd, I'd watched lots of farmers in the family and outside. And it wasn't until, until we started doing it, as I say, with a small number of sheep, that I actually realised uh, that it was a great lifestyle. And, and actually, you don't have to, to have a good life. You don't have to work in the city, which is what I once did, and, and, and make lots of money. You can actually have a fantastic life working in the countryside, particularly when the sun's shining and everything's going well. Great for the children. We've got children that like their gadgets, and, but actually, the times I see them smiling are when they're outside doing something active. I don't think the children smile as much as when they're out. And... Lysia, she didn't really have a lot to say. She was quite a quiet child, and um, as soon as we gave her a sheep on a halter, I, it was like it just gave her a whole life of confidence. She just walked out into a ring full of people. And Lysia confidently took her sheep out on its, on its halter and she walked it around this huge ring in front of hundreds, if not thousands of people. This was a little girl that couldn't say much at all. She was such a quiet, quiet shy girl that um, showing not only became addictive because it was so much fun showing sheep, but for me personally as a mum seeing a child grow and blossom so much from working with animals was incredible. Outside of show season, in the winter when it's cold and wet and, and, and there's still sheep farming to be done, dragging them away from electronic devices is, is, is difficult. I'm very glad that we farm as a family and we all support each other and actually we enjoy working together. I think we both push each other a little bit and I think actually working together we, You've got the benefit of somebody helping, but I think we achieve more than more than twice as much each day when we work together, or with yeah. the children more than three yeah. or four times as much. I enjoy it. I actually love the more of us that work together as a family, the more of us there are out doing it, yeah. the more I love it. Yeah, actually, in our annex is, is my mum, who's in her 80s, and any chance of jumping into the Land Rover and coming to see the sheep she'll take. She loves it, you know, and, she, and she's actively involved. There's three generations of keen people here, and and the dog who gives us most of the advice that we listen to. So. The worst thing that can happen in sailing is that something will break and you have to replace it. 
if a sheet breaks, it's, it, it can be upsetting if you're attached to it. You're going to lose some along the way for one reason or another, and that's always really hard. Because um, obviously we want, we want happy, healthy sheep. So, so when we lose them, that's, that's hard. It's very easy to become very attached to the sheep. Um, they're not supposed to be named, but they do get names. <laughs> Some of them sneak their way in. And um, I have a pet sheep called Rosie. So when we very first started with the flock, she was rejected by her mum. So I was feeding her round the clock. I think a bit like being a new mum and you're up and feeding your babies, new babies round the clock. I was the same with Rosie. I think maybe sometimes that maternal instinct kind of helps a little bit. She became my pet sheep, <laughs> so she'll stay with us. I think it's natural for most humans, I think, just love animals and especially baby animals. So You can have a really long, hard day. And at the end of the day, when you're finished working, doing everything that needs to be done, if you're able to spend five minutes just sitting in the field, and listening to them pulling up the grass, that, that grazing sound, it, it's, it's just so relaxing. I love it. I love it even more when the girls come and graze around me and they're relaxed enough to come and spend time with me grazing. It's, um, that's, it's just lovely. We've always said that if one of the children gets interested, probably take it up to a, a, a flock um, of, of more like 200 breeding ewes and then look at, you know, look at a larger commercial flock as well. We want our children to follow their own desires, follow their own dreams and, and do what they want to do. If any of the children or grandchildren were keen, which some of them do definitely seem very keen on it, then yes, we'd love that. It's about any of our children following their passions. Where they want to go is where they want to go. Mm -hmm.